Hi there friends, welcome back for this week's crypto astrology and horoscope report uh, forecast. The new crypto timing report is available and that information is down below in, my, in the links of this description, um, in the description box of this video. Uh, so um, there was a, a video I put out last week forecasting the current crash. Um, I have an updated version of that in my Patreon and that is down below if you want to learn about it. It's in the description box. So uh, this week, what is going on? Uh, we have Pluto changing directions, which is a great big, giant, massive change. Um, Pluto is the god of the underworld. He is the, uh, you know, the crossing of the river Styx into the, the realm of the dead. That is the symbolism of Pluto. So it's very deep, profound, and major change happening. So we are moving into a zone here. As Pluto has slowed down and as he's speeding up, of big, intense change where things are being dredged up from the depths of secrecy, from the depths of the subconscious, uh, the deeper meaning, uh, deeper motivations, secrets, hidden agendas, all that kind of stuff is being pulled out into the light of day with this uh, shift of Pluto. Now that happens pretty regularly, but this one is quite intense because it is teamed up with Saturn. So Pluto and Saturn have been teamed up for most of this year and uh, they will conjunct uh, in January and that's going to be some major changes for all of us in uh, January so look forward to that I don't know how good they'll be they can be good they're gonna be pretty challenging in a lot of ways because old structures are breaking down but this is also the the joining of you know Pluto uh, Pluto is the deep underground intense stuff and Saturn is control government um, regulations red tape bureaucracy soul lessons, karma, all of this sort of stuff. So these are tied together. Saturn changed directions a couple weeks ago, and I did a video on that. Um, so you might want to go back if you want to learn more about what's going on with Saturn. I'm focused right now on Pluto, but uh, it is working together, right? These two planets are working together. So there's um, sort of like a moving ahead. Things have started to move that were stalled, like worldly things, things we're trying to get done in the world, things that were maybe related to bureaucracy, the government red tape, you know, uh, official documents, that kind of thing, with Saturn having changed direction. But now that Pluto is also changing directions, it's picking up speed, we're going to get a lot more of the really intense, major, major stuff happening. And uh, this is, I mean, like, Pluto is like the most intense cloak and dagger you know, spy versus spy, um, sinister plotting, uh, murder, intrigue, suspense kind of storyline that you can possibly get. So we're going to get some of that in the news here coming up in the next few days into the next few weeks because it takes some weeks for Pluto to pick up speed. Then we're going to continue to see those themes unfolding through the rest of the year. So it's this major um, sort of moving forward of secrecy of, inf of issues that are related to deep secret uh, stuff and psychologically Pluto is related to the id which is a, you know that part of the consciousness that is our drives that we don't even know what's driving us so it's like the deep down dark you know recesses the the deep caverns of the subconscious mind so it's really intense um, but it doesn't have to be bad. It could be really good for you. It could be positive transformation. But Pluto most definitely represents change and transformation. So when I get into the charts, let's take a look at this week's horoscope. I mean, this week's astrology chart, the chart for Pluto is what I did. So I'm going to put that chart up right there so that you guys can see it and uh, give you like, you know, for those of you who have an understanding of astrology, this can be helpful to you. And it, maybe you'll learn something, I hope, um, watching this. So, yeah, this week, uh, the um, we do have still Mars is uh, is behind the sun. So we, the, Mar the sun has sort of like overtaken Mars right now. So that we're not in such a intense warlike conflict, which, by the way, was a hit in my astrology report that I predicted um, two months ago, that, that we would be in a warlike territory here at the end of September, which was what all last week was about in the news. So um, we are in Libra season, though, which is much lighter 
um, than what we've been in. And it does help with Pluto changing directions to be in Libra season. So what we're, because Libra is much lighter than Pluto. And Lu Libra brings us a lot of um, joy and playfulness and lightheartedness and focus on love and partnership and beauty. So these are nice things. Um, so we also have, um, we have Mercury has actually moved into Scorpio and does move into Scorpio right exactly as Pluto is changing directions, which I'll get back to in a minute. That adds to the intensity. But Venus is still in Libra, so um, we're still having sort of a lightness and a focus on you know balancing the scales in relationships. That is really what this is. The, the Libra season is about balancing the scales, balancing energy in relationships between the masculine and the feminine, which is within each of us. So this isn't necessarily a gender thing. It's just that each of us has a masculine side and a feminine side. Masculine being the active principle and feminine being the receptive um, magnetic principle. And they're both equally powerful. They just, for best happiness and most success in life, they should be working in partnership and balance and harmony with each other. And this is a period of time where we're helping to rebalance the scales in relationships too, so that we can bring in balanced, fair, um, joint ventures and partnerships, love and art and creativity and just all around partnerships that are flowing and working for everybody. So that is what's going on with sort of the season, right? With the, the Libra season. But as Mercury uh, moves into Scorpio, Scorpio is the sign that is by ancient, by modern rulership is ruled by Pluto. By ancient rulership, Pluto is ruled by Mars. I mean, Scorpio is ruled by Mars. So Scorpio is a pretty intense sign and we will be entering Scorpio season in a, a, about the 21st of October. So of course we get Halloween during the intensity of, uh, of Scorpio season, which is perfect, perfect metaphor for Scorpio. So all that Pluto stuff I was talking about is very Scorpionic. And so once we get into um, that time, once we get towards the October and you know into the end of October after the 21st we are going to start to feel a lot more of this stuff the Pluto movements and energy picking up speed and the transformations taking hold and new energy coming in of change things that have been changed and a sweeping out of garbage you know old stuff that needs to be brought up so I expect the next three weeks to be very intense this particular week uh, we're just focused on what's going on with Pluto changing directions but um, but the next couple weeks, this is really about justice. It's all about fairness and justice and work and energy that's put out into the world coming back to us. And there is a, a law of justice in the spiritual realm. So what we put out does come back to us, if not necessarily at the time or in the way that we think it should or expect it to. So this is the season where a lot of things are coming into balance, okay? And things are being set right that may have been out of balance for a long time. So that is what's going on there. And um, Jupiter, of course, is still in Sagittarius. Um, Neptune is still in Pisces, and they are still in their square with each other, and it is active. It's very active this week. So that means that we are getting uh, more breakdowns, more things that are being broken down and disintegrated in the world around us. And that's, um, that's an ongoing thing. It's been going on for a long time, and it's continuing. Um, and then, of course, the Saturn-Pluto thing. The Sun will square Saturn this week, which um, it, it happens later in the week. It happens towards next weekend. That is not good for worldly events. And it's not, I mean, it's, it's not good for, for male figures in authority positions. It tends to be bad for their reputations and it can be bad for their health as well. So we have um, probably public figures that are going to be outed for bad behavior, and also we will be hearing about issues um, in the public, uh, public figures, um, health and safety issues. So that's especially like leadership people, um, presidents, governors, you know, people who run countries, people who run corporations. Anybody who fits into that category, we can hear some news about that kind of thing going on with them. All right, so let's talk about my signs. Let's talk about my people and all of you out there and <laughs> what's going on for you astrologically. So, all right, let's start with, um, it's Libra season. Happy birthday, Libra. I know it was last week, or it could be this week. It depends on when you're born in Libra. 
So let's start with my Venus uh, ruled signs, Libra and then Taurus. So starting with Libra because it's your it's your sign right now. Um, for you guys, the shift of Pluto is going to be a it's about power. It's about power struggles and what is fair within relationships and the, that one-upmanship that can happen, that competitiveness that can happen in partnerships and in relationships. Not necessarily partnerships, because, because you are the sign of partnerships. It's about your identity and how you deal with injustice or things that feel unfair to you and how you respond to it. And there could be some real buttons being pushed, some uh, deep like anger or you know just buttons things that are like you feel aren't right and so you, there's like a, a like a energy here uh that's an intense energy that's an opportunity to transform negative emotions into something constructive i mean negative emotion can be constructive if you like i don't know if you're angry go build the deck or something i don't know it's how you use it it's really up to you but for libras um the issue here is about limitation, restriction, and uh, sort of hardships that are being placed upon you, possibly in the home, in and around the home, and things that are related to emotions. So it's really an opportunity for you to clear anything that's maybe deep and unexamined in the emotional body, in yourself, and that's going to transform um, whatever the situation is. Uh, just a, I'll give you a quick story about my, uh, my son, who's a Libra. He went through some stuff with uh, some friends who started bullying him and started ostracizing him and behaving in, you know, ways that weren't good. And, you know, it's it's always tempting to, <clears throat> to say, well, those kids are bad. But the point for him was figuring out a way to transform the situation into something that was better, where it's not just one person's good, one person's bad, but, like, how do we overcome, how to, you know, that's my job, is to try and nurture him into overcoming it in another way so what ended up happening is he, he just you know this friend had said I don't want to talk to you for a week I don't want to be your friend for a week and I was like alright so don't take that personally go talk to other people go hang out with some other friends you know just go find something else going on so he did and he got involved with this group of friends and they had come up with these really great creative ideas and started writing all this stuff and they came up with these cool characters and it turned into this really fun thing for him where he transformed it into something that was him experiencing and exploring another side of himself and not getting completely you know stuck in this battle with this other kid the point is of course if that's where somebody's at that's where they're at you know but it's better to take yourself out of it and put yourself into a place that's better for you so that's the point of my story and I know that all my Libras can definitely do that so then let's move on to Taurus so for Taurus people this week um for you guys, the, there's a lot going on in your routines. There could be sudden changes around your day-to-day -day life and a lot of sort of things being thrown into disarray, particularly because um, the change of direction for Pluto is taking place up in your, um, your, ni your ninth house of philosophy and outlook and perspective on things. So there may be some sudden change, news, information, something that changes your situation that's coming from afar, abroad, overseas, uh, something that's connected to people abroad, or something that's connected to publishing. Um, it could be good, but it's going to be changing your life in some big way. So anything that you're getting coming in that's, uh, and also connected to, to education, information and things that are related to your education um, will be going through a big transformation or something that has been delayed or on hold about your education will now be able to move forward but there is something about it that's very deep it's bringing up something deep within you about your identity or how you see yourself in the world or how you want people to see you so this this is uh, and it is something of a challenge so maybe there's a, a battle about what you want to do or somebody has some idea of who you should be that's different than your idea um, but uh, foreign people uh, people from abroad will be very good for you uh, although there may be a struggle in getting through uh, maybe communication or understanding or sort of getting on the right page and, and having like a, a deal that you can come to that everyone's happy with so just hang in there you'll get through it it will change things will turn around and they will go in your favor and you'll have a good deal at the end of that so it's a it's a good it's a good thing but it, it can have some obstacles on the way to getting there for you and then let's uh, let's talk about the Scorpio. You know the um, the ones that are most. You know, we'll talk about Scorpio first. We'll talk about my Mars ruled 
you know, signs. We're going to talk about Scorpio because Scorpio is the sign that is most affected by the Pluto changing directions, uh, the change of directions of Pluto. So Pluto, um, for you guys, is is all about communication and how you communicate and express yourself. So there's some kind of really deep and profound, perhaps communication of secrets, perhaps people are telling you secrets, but something about the power of knowledge, of wisdom and information that you are working with and coming into your own in some way so that you can step into communicating in a strong and powerful way that has an impact that is positive and works for you in the way that you want. This is a hard one lesson. This is something that may have cost you for a long time in your life and you're stepping into a space now where you're going to able to move forward powerfully with communication and with information in a way that was maybe never possible before for you. Um, it's There may be some struggle, some challenge from somebody about how you're doing it and if they believe that you're doing it correctly. However, I am seeing you able to take the action you need to to turn that around and turning it into a positive for you. Um, if you know what's right for you, don't let what anybody else's opinion it, about it be, you know, have an impact. It's like, oh, okay. And then just keep doing what works for you, right? <laughs> you don't have to fight with anybody, but you also don't have to, you know, do what they want if they want you to do something that you don't agree with. So this is about having clear and strong boundaries, um, expressing them in a way that is kind and loving, but not giving in to your on your principles and your um, values okay but also expressing powerful information strongly clearly cleanly um, with an open heart and that's the the challenge right so Pluto is going to bring up those things that require those kind of, that that type of care and attention all right and then of course Mars is uh, is you know helping you be uh, detailed and full focused and handle things in a very specific detailed kind of way which is which is going to be uh, very helpful um, Mars is getting ready to go through your 12th house so you could have um, a lot of soul searching coming a lot of um, deep wisdom coming forward from the depths and the recesses of your subconscious deep in the id there there maybe pay attention to your dreams but these could be really challenging because Mars is not a you know passive easy comfortable planet so it's really challenging you through uh, some things that are going on behind the scenes. You could be doing a lot of work that's not being seen, um, and also um, you could be uh, just take just a lot of action that people aren't seeing. And there's a lot of information there, and a lot of ability to take take action and learn things that are deep mysteries that you can use uh, for the future to move forward. So that's good. It's good for you. It's um, it's pretty intense though. And then um, moving on to uh, the other Mars ruled sign is Aries. So my Aries friends, um, you guys, so for you guys, Pluto, you know, and Saturn, they've been up there in your 10th house now for a long time, um, making big, big changes and transformations to your sort of social status and the way you look at your work and your career and how you approach uh, being seen in the world. So that's, uh, and it may have been pretty helpful in this last week, in this last few days, you may have been able to take some really constructive action towards what you want and towards your goals. Uh, later on, and as Pluto turns direct, it's also bringing in some sort of like power play around your career identity and things that are going on in your work. So possibly there's like a power play in your work environment or uh, some sort of navigation of you know, politi political scenarios in, in a work environment, dealing with personality, politics, um, also sort of secrets or maybe hidden things or things coming out that are unexpected. Um, if you haven't been doing anything wrong, you're going to end up looking good, right? So it's the people who've been doing things that are hidden and secret that are going to start to get exposed. So just be aware of that and know that it will probably affect your, um, the, your, your status, your worldly status and your connection in the way you're seen in your career. So this is an opportunity for you to step forward and shine, if, you know, with what you've been doing right. Um, and then, and if, as you see other people crumbling for having done things secretively, underhandedly, it's like, this is like the the time when the person at your job who was embezzling suddenly gets revealed or the, the cops come and take them away. It's like that, that kind of 
saying could be happening. I'm not saying that might happen for one of you. Um, so that's the kind of picture that this paints. But uh, you're going to be, um, there's something of, uh, there could be something related to the legal system coming forward up for you here and something that you need to take action on that is related to legalities because this is a time of things being made just and things being made fair. So if there's something that's going wrong that you do need to take some legal action on, this is the time you're going to have to do it. Uh, but uh, that will be constructive and it will move forward. Things are going to move forward for you. So that's good. And then, so let's move on to my Mercury ruled signs. Let's talk about, oh, yeah, let's talk about uh, uh, Gemini and Virgo, the, the Mercury ruled signs, starting with Gemini. So you guys, um, this, uh, this change of direction of Pluto for you is very much about your the shared assets, the resources you share with others, sort of the communities you're part of, um, potentially stocks, bonds, wills, legacies, inheritances, all of those kinds of uh, mortgages, all that kind of uh, financial paperwork stuff that is um, is been highlighted by Saturn and Pluto in your eighth house, your solar eighth house, and this is. Um, this is a moving ahead with something that is of about power for you and that's going to give you a sense of power and control in the world or in what you're doing, um, leading you into the stepping into the reins in some way. In some area of your life, you're stepping into a leadership position, taking control, taking the reins in something that has to do with the assets, the resources, the mutual benefit of your group, whatever you're participating in. It could be your family. It could be your work. So there's somewhere where you're stepping forward and you're, and, and Gemini's are always about communication. So you're going to have to talk about it in some way that is constructive. Um, the square of Sun to Pluto this week does make, um, as Pluto turns direct, in Gemini for you, it, I mean, in Libra, which is in your, um, your fifth house, it does create a, um, a need to navigate maybe some challenges around uh, children or creative projects, artistic, you know, output. Um, perhaps a miscommunication with a lover. There could be some issues there. There's like um, the need to straighten things out, right? Or set things straight somehow in that uh, arena. So you're going to be able to do that successfully. I, I see that being, you know, something you can overcome. But it is about things picking up speed for you in your um, mutual benefit financial sector, okay? And that that's going to start to like congeal and move forward a lot for you towards the end of October as uh, Pluto picks up speed. So if you're trying to do something like, you know, get a house, get a mortgage, uh, qualify with a certain type of paperwork, those kinds of things are going to start moving forward um, in a good way, in a big way for you in the next few weeks. And this week is the challenge though. So you can get through that and then it'll move forward. Okay. And for Virgo, the other Mercury ruled sign, um, so, um, yeah, Mercury is in Scorpio, right? You're ruling planet in Scorpio. Um, for you guys, it's, um, it's about communicating. It's about expressing yourself. It's about communicating deeply, right? It's about communicating things that are unseen, things that have been hidden, things that have been kept buried, things that have been squashed down. Like some people, like, let's see, here's an example. Some people, you know relate to certain people in a way that doesn't show what's really going on inside of them, right? So if that's you and you haven't really shown something or you haven't been fully, you know, forthcoming or honest about maybe your feelings about something or express them in a way that was obvious that other people could understand, perhaps this is the time where you're going to feel the need to go forward and do that because this is a pressure and all this energy uh, with Pluto moving forward and the depths of it, the really intense depths of that emotional quality of it. And it's in your ninth house. So it's in your house of, of higher perspective. Wait a minute. Is it in your ninth house? Let me just look at this. No, it's in your fifth house. It's in your fifth house of creativity, of your life force, of your sunniness, the joy, the, the, the expression, the playfulness, um, love affairs, lovers, creative uh, expression, and also children, if you have children. So this is going to bring you into like an, an alignment with your um, way of communicating that brings joy, right? And that brings that sunniness and that, that uh, 
just the goodness, right, into those those areas of your life. It's it's a very you know the fifth house is a very fun house. It's a very light house. It's a very playful house. With all this stuff in Scorpio, it's digging into what has been holding you back from where your fun, where your joy, where your lightness is. And so this is taking you into that space where you're able to really, you know, touch on it and like get back to it. So that's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. So that's for Virgo. And then um, moving on here, let's talk about um, uh, let's talk about Leo and Cancer. So the sun is in Libra. So for Leos, what that means is that um, that you are also entering a stage and a zone of greater communication. This is a theme for a lot of signs. A lot of signs are needing to express themselves and communicate more, more deeply, more profoundly perhaps than before. And so the um, the uh, so the sun in Libra is definitely about communication, but because it's squaring Pluto this week and Pluto changes directions and that's taking place in in your sixth house of uh, routines, there's going to be some sort of and work and um, just sort of like your day to day stuff, also health. There could be some kind of uh, crisis or challenge or challenge to the rules around your day-to-day -day life, about around your home and your business routines. There could be something that's coming up here that's giving you like a need to change your routines or shaking up your routines, shaking up your environment at work. Things could be a little. Um, there's some sort of power play that could go on here, um, and it's forcing you to there's some sort of justice that's in play there is some sort of form of things becoming more just but you're going to have to communicate about it you're gonna to have to talk about it or have some meetings about it or speak with people about it and um, it may be mm, it may not be that comfortable but it will lead to um, better mutual business or arrangements right so it's gonna improve things in the long run but it will take a couple weeks for those improvements to start to come together so this week could be a bit challenging, but it's going to get better a little bit further out. And then, um, so uh, for cancer, so my cancer friends, um, yeah, so the Pluto changing of directions in your opposite sign of Capricorn makes for a really profound transformation around relationships, your idea of relationship, what partnership looks like to you, um, something unexpected could be happening in the area of partnership, uh, something that you are maybe unseen, something that's been maybe evolving for months that you didn't know about is going to come forward and come clear and come to the surface. It's a, it's a re-emergence of something that will ask you to, there's going to be some sort of decision that has to be made, some sort of judgment or whether it's a reconciliation or a clearing of the past or a renewal, there's a rebirth of some sort around something to do with partnerships and relationships for you. And this is an opportunity for there to be a clearing of garbage, things from the past, even past life stuff. Even There's like a very, very long over centuries kind of pattern emerging here that is being swept away so this is your and I've been talking about this all year about how we are collectively in this completion cycle now the um, the movement of Pluto is literally like death with the scythe and like sh chopping down the let's just say like cutting down the dead wheat in the field right and like clearing away the stuff that doesn't belong there anymore so there can be a, a, re a rebirth right and renewal which is what spring is when the new plants are, are growing so there's something you know, of this nature that is taking place in relationships for you, in connection with your relationships. Um, so it can be an ending of something that didn't work and an opportunity for something that does work to come in next. So it's, it's a profound, deep change, but it can be very, very positive. All right, so let's talk about um, my Jupiter ruled signs, Sagittarius and Pisces. So starting with Sagittarius, um, for you guys, the Pluto change of directions is in your house of money, property and possessions and um, what you own and what makes you feel secure and what makes you feel independent in this world. And um, that's a big deal because it's going to be some kind of renewal or transformation of your 
attitude around these things or what you have around these things. Something that may have gone away is coming back. Something that, you know, there's just a, a renewal or a reemergence, uh, but it's been a very slow coming deal. But it is it is coming and it is like a change and it is a, a positive momentum forward, which is bringing back your power in this area, in, your, in the area of money and finances and what you have. So it is going to be a, a positive move in that direction. Um, but it's, it takes a few weeks for this to pick up speed and really start rolling. And the square from um, the sun this week uh, does give it a little bit of a, of a challenge. It's, um, you know, that's coming for you from, um, hold on a sec, a second. It's coming from your house of career. So there is a change, probably maybe a problem in your career or in your work environment. There can be some issue uh, maybe with a boss or a power leader figure in the job um, that is putting some sort of pressure and some change upon your, your money situation. So that's a situation where you have an opportunity to take the bull by the horns perhaps and take a new approach to your own finances. This is something where you're going to need to take a new approach and figure out a new plan around the financial picture. Um, but doing so can really lead you to a lot of independence and uh, self-directedness around your money and your resources. That is Pluto in the second house. And it can bring you into, and by the way, that's crypto, right? <laughs> so put yourself in crypto and then you have control over your own life. Maybe not tomorrow, but eventually. So. There's that for Sagittarius's. And then um, my uh, uh, Pisces people. So, um, so with Pisces, the, the change of directions of Pluto is, is, uh, is happening in your um, 11th house, which is social, right? So it's all the people and the internet inter connection that you have. Like it could have something to do with the internet. It could be something that's moving forward for you around technology or a social cause or people that you're involved with on the broader collective level. Um, and uh, the square from the sun though, and it can also be a legal issue. So it could be legal information and documents that need to move forward with the sun squaring that it will be something that has to do with justice and things being done and shifted to a fair balance. Um, it's a, uh, it's a, um, let's see. So it's definitely about your shared resources and collective money. So there could be something, you know, this makes me think of all the data breaches, like the Equifax breach, the data breaches and people's information being leaked out and that affecting almost everyone. And there is like this class action lawsuit, but probably after they're all, all done with all of it, nobody's going to get anything except for maybe like 20 cents. So there's something about like the way all of this collective stuff is done that um, is requiring you to reassess what's fair, what's just, or there's some need to readjust those I issues. Um, I wish we could just take our information off those boards, you know, so that those people didn't have any control over our lives. We could just put it into our own control with crypto and then do what we need to. But that's going to take some time to, to emerge. Eventually it will be like that, but they're going to do it in a way that continues the control. So I just feel like we should have management of our own identity, management of our own resources. So there's something coming up for you around this kind of stuff that's asking you to reevaluate or maybe make some changes or maybe you have to fix something. Maybe there's some false information, maybe something you have to straighten out. That kind of thing is coming up, but it's definitely got like some sort of legality attached to it. And uh, so that's coming up this week for you. Um, but in the following weeks, it will get a little bit better and a little bit easier and you will start to see some opportunities for solutions. Uh, and there are blockchain solutions to some of this. I don't know that the perfect solution is there yet, but there are some technology um, solutions in the works. All right. And then um, let's talk about my Saturn ruled friends, the ones that have Pluto changing directions pretty much in your lap. Um, so my Capricorns and uh, Aquarius are ruled by Saturn. So Saturn is not changing direction. Saturn changed directions a couple weeks, or about a week ago. Pluto, maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, so Pluto is changing directions, but it's in the sign of Capricorn. So let's start with Capricorns. For Capricorn people, you guys, um, 
this is a big transformation of your identity, your perspective, the way that um, you look at yourself, the way that you see yourself, your um, relationship to power, your feelings about power, your own power, do you have power? It's a, just a big inner question about power and the use of power, use and abuse of power. So um, I'm not saying you're abusing power, but there will be uh, information coming to you about those who do. There will be um, insight about who you um, are aligned with and whether you want to be aligned with them or not, because you know, there's a, you know, power is like, is it just, you want power for power's sake? It, it, it's a, it, the abuses of power are really coming to the surface in the public eye right now. And Capricorns are having to really reassess their beliefs and value system around concepts related to control and power and what their participation with that is. And in what way Capricorn wants to be aligned with people who are powerful, right? Would you give up your soul to gain, you know, a million dollars? It's really those, I mean, you know, those kind of Faustian questions. I'm not saying you're going to have a deal with the devil presented to you this week, but I am saying that you might have some inkling as to people that you're seeing who may have control agendas and things that are, you know, you have to question what fits with your values and what doesn't. That's what I'm saying. So, and I can't see that for you. You're going to have to figure that out yourself, but I'm sure you'll make the right decision. So, um, and then, uh, but you know, and it gets easier in a few weeks uh, from now. And then moving on to uh, Aquarius, who is also uh, ruled by Saturn. So for you guys, Pluto is changing directions deep in your subconscious mind. So even as deep and profound and subconscious and like wrestling things up from the depths of the underworld as Pluto already is doing for you it's doing it in the depths of your underworld as well so it's intense you could be having like a confrontation or a connection to some of the more intense emotions of life the primal emotions of like life and death and sex and rebirth and renewal and transformation this is like really really sh profound but it can be very, very liberating as well. This is where the deepest level of soul connection to our highest purpose exists, is in that space. Um, so there can be big shamanic transformations. There can be uh, deep psychic insights. There can be uh, the ability to call forward uh, higher states of consciousness. All of that can be present for you guys. And I know that's weird for a horoscope, but that's the level at which I'm seeing um, this stuff impact you. And um, when we recognize that level of depth, then we can make ourselves clear to bring that stuff through in a positive, constructive way that will you know, empower you and empower others. And for you guys, it could be about speaking to lots of people and communicating with a lot of people. Um, with the uh, square from the sun, um, that's taking place in uh, the eighth, for you, um, it's definitely even more shamanic, deep inner, you know, stuff. All these feelings about um, technology, maybe the stock market, the legal system, all sorts of stuff going on in those areas this week. And they're going to have some sort of like uh, reorientation uh, impact on you where you're like having a new world map, a new outlook on the world around you. Um, and the opportunity to find ways to... Uh, to express something that was previously unexpressible because it was so deep. So you guys, like, you know, good luck on your big shamanic journey. <laughs> Tell me about how it goes. Leave it in the comments. I want to hear about it. So that's it for my, um, my horoscope for this week. Don't forget, I have a Patreon and I go into a lot more depth. I do a lot of deep information about um, cryptos in there and uh, forecasts and also the timing report, the crypto timing report. So that's it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you share this video to people. Let them share their own horoscopes as well. So that's it. Um, and we will talk to you next time. Bye.